So here's something that I've been wanting to test and own for a long period of time, but I just never pulled the trigger on actually ordering one of these. It's called the Nereus Ares Pro, and what it is is a wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. So what this means is you could take any source, any video source, and send that video signal to a display off in the distance. As you can see on the front of the box, I mean, they are even showing a drone here. Whatever video signal you want to send, even from from a production perspective, like the various angles that we shoot for this show, you could send to a display for monitoring. But this one caught my attention above and beyond the other stuff that's on the market because they claim watch on HDTV with no latency at 1080p. Now you know why no latency is important because a lot of people are gonna wanna use something like this for gaming. You can imagine you've got a console or something far away from a display or just the way you have your stuff wired up for cable management. Now, finally, wireless HDMI supposedly, as far as this company is concerned, is capable of getting there without a wire. So I got a few tips from people on Twitter saying, Lou, you gotta try this out. I'm gonna test this out today with a Nintendo Switch and a display that's about, how many feet away is that over there, Jack? That's like 40 feet? 30 feet? As they say in the box, this is the pro version, which has 100 feet, apparently, of clear wireless transmission. So Nintendo Switch in the dock, I will send the signal all the way over there and we'll see if it actually works or we'll see if they have overstepped, over, overstepped, or does the Nereus Ares Pro suck? So, there's a transmitter, receiver, power adapter, five foot HDMI cable and so on. What do they show here? So uh, obviously this will work with any video source. You can see they've got a laptop hooked up. Play high definition video games from your desktop PC, laptop, PS4, Xbox One, or, well, anything, really. Zero latency, they're saying zero. Let's crack this open. Gonna need a knife. I just peeled the tape anyway. Look at that, unbox therapy and none of the professional unboxing equipment you would expect. I just peeled the tape off, all right? Don't try that at home. Plug it into the wall, plug it into the display, plug the transmitter into an HDMI port. That's it. Ooh, look at this slick little guy. So this looks like the receiver, I believe. This will sit near the location of your TV. It's got an HDMI output on it. You can also wall mount it. Some LED indicators as well to let you know if you're linked up. This model comes with a super slim transmitter. So this guy here, as you can see, goes into any HDMI port. It has also a mini USB on it. This entire package would be very easy to travel with. In the past, I've wanted to like watch a UFC fight on a projector, but maybe I don't have the source that I want going to wherever the projector is mounted. Now, boom, you just, as long as this guy is down on ground level, whatever you wanna stream from, click that baby in. Could be an Apple TV, could be you know the deal. An HDMI cable, this is to go from the receiver to the display, a nice right angle adapter, a mini USB cable, which is gonna power up the transmitter. So let's get this thing hooked up and see what it does. All right, so I have the Nintendo Switch in the dock and I've got the HDMI going out to the transmitter. Now something to mention, because of the way the dock is set up, I had to use a little HDMI adapter just to extend it a little bit. It's now going into the transmitter. There was a blinking light on the front of the transmitter, which is now solid. It's solidly lit up, which I think means that it has linked itself to the receiver on the TV all the way over there. So Jack's gonna swing right now. And as we mentioned before, this TV is somewhere between 30 and 40 feet away from where I'm sitting right now. So I got the Pro Controller, the docked Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna power it up right now. Oh, Zelda! Oh my. I don't think there's any latency. I'm, I'm not sensing any. I think they weren't lying, man. Let's go for a little glide real quick here. Oh, baby. Totally playable. Honestly, I don't notice any kind of an input delay beyond playing the game normally, and I've been playing this game a lot recently. This is really cool, man. This, when you see this happen, it's a very magical moment. Am I gonna have enough stamina to get to the top? Probably not, maybe. I've been mostly upgrading stamina. Made it, barely. Here we go. That's legit. They weren't lying. 
I mean, they said zero latency, there's zero latency. The question of the video, wireless HDMI, does it suck? No, not anymore. Keep in mind it's 1080p, so you're getting full res. Like I said, you wanna go to a different display, just grab this thing and move that. There's a bad guy right there. Yeah, how you like that? Look, you can use his own arm to beat him up. <laughs> Check these guys out, it's the real deal, man. It's the real deal. It's magical. What magic is this? Right, Tom? There he is. There he is.